Welcome to Melanie's Creative Corner, where hooks, needles, yarn, or even cookie dough turn into something we all love. Please like, subscribe, watch my video front to back, and leave me a message. I'd love to hear from you. I can't wait to meet you all. Come on, let's get creative at Melanie's Creative Corner. Hello everybody, and I apologize for my camera. It is a little wonky But I thought I would pop on here. I saw this morning that I got a tag from Christina hey Christina From me so crazy Yeah, isn't that cool? so I thought I would get on here and try to respond to her tag and this is the August tags and uh, let's see here because I've never done this before so you guys are in on my first Woo. all right so this is fun crochet questions to answer and Krista at the secret yarnery started this tag and so consider yourself tagged <laughs> all right I was tagged again from Christina and the questions are number one are you a morning star or a night owl well for me I worked years as a registered nurse and I worked the night shift and even before that, even before I became a, a nurse, I worked in a nursing home and I worked the night shift. Yeah. So for me, now that I'm semi-retired, so to speak, uh, I would say that um, night owl, but I like doing things in the daytime. I like getting out, enjoying you know the weather scenery all that I love getting out so I I it could go either way so uh, number two what is your favorite time of day to crochet and I'm like well really any time that I have some quiet time because um, if I'm doing a pattern that has any intricacy to it uh, I need to concentrate because you know the older you get you know it's hard for you to concentrate so um, but my favorite time is probably in the morning you know after after I you know said my prayers and and spent some time there and and just Everything's quiet. Everybody's asleep and You know just kind of sit down with your cup of coffee and and just Start crocheting Anyway, it works for me uh, Let's see uh, number three Have you ever attended a crochet or yarn event? Honestly, um, where I'm at, I really haven't had the ability, I should say, to get out and find places like that. You know, I've been to Joann's and I've been to Michael's and been to all those places. But as far as little mom and pop shops and yarny shops and things like that, I really haven't. It's not that I don't want to. And it will probably be something now that I'm not working, you know, 12, 13 hour shifts that uh, I will probably be able to do that more often. Let's see, what else did it say? Um, have you ever attended crochet or yarn event? I have been to craft fairs. Yeah. So, and I know the last craft fair that I went to, there was only one person at that craft fair that was crocheting, and they were doing like um, little wash rags, and that was that was about it. There wasn't a 
wasn't very many people doing crochet stuff. But there was a lot of soaps and um, jewelry and things like that. There was even a band there. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. And, okay, number four. What crochet item would you suggest making to sell at a craft fair or online? Well, online, I really, you know, we had an Etsy shop for a while and we closed it down. The... <clears throat> The shipping is just outrageous. So, and we we used pirate shipping, which um, was really a whole lot better than sending it through. If you have a big package, pirate shipping was the best way to go. Otherwise, if it was a small thing, just, you know, U.S. Postal Service. So, um, small things, if you've got to ship them through the mail. Um you know, functional things, you know, like, uh, I've seen a lot of, uh, stitch markers, and they're kind of the rage right now, because who doesn't need a stitch marker? I'm, I'm doing a project now where I need at least 63 stitch markers, because I have to put a stitch marker in every one of my squares that I'm making for this, uh, heirloom afghan, and so, all my stitch markers are spoken for, and my stash is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, that being said, um, washcloths, pot holders, something that's unique, you know, something that's different than the ordinary, because I make a lot of hats, I make ponchos, scarves, um... I've made baby hats, baby booties, things like that. And when I did a uh, a craft sale and things like that, it was it, it worked out pretty good. And things that are different and not just the normal plain Jane. But then again, you know, during hunting season, uh, I do a lot of uh, hats. You know, so like in the fall, a lot of hats, hat and scarf sets would probably be really good. Um, but again, uh, I think it depends on the area that you're in and what is that time of year for, you know, like the Chris, Christmas craft shows and things like that. There's all kinds of things that you could make. Uh, I'm really dragging this out, aren't I? <laughs> All right, do you snack while you crochet? No. Number one reason is I don't want to get anything on my yarn. I do drink. <laughs> I do. Um, I have to. I have a, a vocal cord disorder that um, causes me to choke up or my vocal cords to quit functioning normally so that I can't breathe. So if you ever see a video or anything with me in it, it is, it's that. It's, you know, don't worry about it. And even the doctor, my husband didn't appreciate it, let me tell you. But the doctor says, uh, don't worry about it. If she passes out, don't worry about it because then her vocal cords will relax and she'll resume breathing. And I'm like, really? That's your suggestion. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. That being said. All right. Um, how do you choose the colors of your projects? Okay. A lot of times, if I see a project, I will just, you know, kind of look at my stash there or... Well, I can't bend that around that far, but anyway, the stash that's there and there and up there and around over there and up there on the wall and anyway, it's my little corner. Yeah, it's my corner. I like it. It's okay. Um, it's shh, but it's it's spreading out into the other room. I've got totes under the daybed. Shh. 
<laughs> okay, so let's see. How do you stay motivated between big projects? Well, me, between big projects. See, this is, this is a project here. And it's a poncho. Okay. Well, this project and those bags over there. Uh, let's see. There. Yeah, down there. Let me get things out of the way. <laughs> Once down there, those projects. Um, when my brain gets tired and I'm not I just get burnt out on a project. I'll start doing, you know, like little things. Like I pulled out this. And it'll be my next, one of my tutorials that I will put out. And it's it's just a filet, um, oh, what do you call it? Filet mesh. And um, another square. I just I just start working on little little things that can not be so stressing when you haven't crocheted in a while <clears throat> and you're trying to put your thoughts together and you just get can get burnt out. So I just do little things like that or I'll do a, a butterfly. I like doing butterflies. Uh, anyway, or a washcloth or something that doesn't take a lot of different stitches and things like that. Okay, number eight. If you could only use two colors of yarn, what colors would they be? Well, I love blue. Alright, I love blue and I love maroon. So I mean I would I would have to say blue and maybe burgundy or or something like that but I love so many different colors like burgundy and a dark gray oh those look so good together and black and pink that's yeah that's my go to so but that would probably be what I would say um let's see uh, my camera is falling. Hello. Hello, where are you? There you are. Hi. Okay. What is your favorite place to crochet? Okay. My favorite place to crochet is probably in the living room with the TV and my recliner. Take my bag of stuff in there and I would sit in front of the TV, not necessarily listening to the TV, but with like the TV on as background, whatever, you know, down low. Um, so I would say my recliner. But it's hard because all my stuff is in here. Now, I tell you, if I could get a recliner in here, oh yeah, I would be in here. All right. Um, let's see. Next one, number 10. What crochet project have you made that you would make again and again. Butterflies and shawls. There's some of the shawls that I've made, that, but there's so many, you never know. But anyway, I want to send a shout out and a thank you to me so crazy, Christina. Thank you for tagging me. And it, this has been fun. Anyway, so um, this is from the Secret Yarnies 10 Fun Questions for August. And we just barely got it in. That's pretty cool. But I hope you will, you know, follow me, like, subscribe. And uh, here's to the next great adventure. Because you know they're sure to come. Alright. Have a blessed day. I almost forgot the most important part. Tag, you're it. All right. Mary Ann from the Crotchety Clogger. I'm tagging you. And Katrina's Crochet World. Katrina, I'm tagging you. 
Miss Sunita from Sunita Makes Crochet Items. You're tagged. Woohoo! All right, and left is right crochet with Sandy. Yes, you're tagged, girl. And don't think you're going to get out of this. No, no, it's your turn. Yay! And this is fun. I hope y'all do this. And uh, let's see. An Alaskan crafter, Jan. And you're tagged. And I hope you do this. This is just ten, ten questions. And have fun. I did. Anyway, I will see you around. Have a blessed day. And here's to our next great adventure. All right.